All right, so what I have here is an illustration of the problem I've been tackling the last couple of days. This was quite a thorny one, um, and it's something I've shown on videos before, and I finally just dealt with it. So basically, uh, what's going on here is we have a pillar here, here, here. These are all rotated um, at sequential angles. So this is like zero. This is rotated at zero, right? So this red face of this pillar is facing straight south, you could say. Now here's 90 degrees, and that's this is a clockwise rotation around the z-axis looking from above. So if this is 90, right? So that red bit is facing to the left. This is 180, so the red bit is facing up here to the north. And then um, this is 270, right? Okay, so that's the basic thing. The problem is that the shading's wrong. So we have the light coming from directly below. I've, I've changed the light vector and stuff like that. So we've got the light is coming straight from the south. So it should be hitting this face right here, lighting it up and making it dark. And in fact, it does work perfectly for the zero degree rotated one. But as you can see, everything else is not rotated. The shading is not right. Um, the shading for this one is on the back when it should be up here. You know what I mean? And then again, all these all these other uh, pillars here are rotated randomly. So you can see they just look, look like mishmash. All the shading's different and you can't really, your eye doesn't get a sense for where the light is really supposed to be because all this is just kind of messed up like that. So let's take a look at the um, the corrected version. Um, that's just the quickest way I found to, to modify that and show you this was just this one little tweak there to that function. Um, but there's a lot of machinery going on underneath all that to make this happen. So this is how it's supposed to look, right? So we've got the faces, the faces of all the models now look good, right? So we've got, uh, um, this is, let's look at the shading as we twist too. Like as we get to this side, all of them are dark because the light is coming from the south. And we get to this side, all of them are, are nice and lit up. Um, and uh, it just looks good everywhere we go. Even even the um, the ground texture looks really nice. The stairs and um, okay, so the tricky part to getting this all to work um, was well, actually there was two big tricky parts. The first tricky part was getting um, the actual just getting the math to work right so that I could actually rotate so rotate all these for all the given possible camera rotations. So every one of these pillars is rotated eight times already for every one of the 45 degree rotations, and then it has to go and rotate them eight times that so that's like 64 different rotations it could possibly do right and the problem the tricky part was well do we really have to do all 64 can we just do eight and then eight and that's what took me uh, so long to implement was basically that I had a, a whole I have a whole new method basically there's several different caches um, there's an original cache where it just loads the voxels models. There's the rotated cache and occluded, which basically rotates and occludes all the voxels. And then there's the shaded cache, which takes the original cache, shades all the vo voxels how they're supposed to be. And then the, the final cache is everything combined together. It's rotated, occluded, tinted, and shaded all in one. And let's look at that function, get model. This is where all the magic is happening here now. So. Um, before this was a lookup into some uh, some a different sort of structure of um, caches, which was not as efficient, right? Where I had to do 64 different rotations. This I only have to do eight for each of the uh, the light rotations and eight for each of the model rotations. Um, so this is where it starts off. It makes a model key, looks it up in the ro rotated cache and goes and if it can't find it in the rotated cache it loads the voxel file rotates them projects them occludes them and then stores that into the rotated cache but also we're already putting this into the data which is um the the, the final cache right the final cache is this it's key includes everything like this is how it makes a key it takes the voxel file name the model rotation the light rotation and the color and uses that as a key into that final cache Right, so we're inserting into this final cache right here and then going and filling it up by by loading all this stuff. And if possible, we're skipping a lot of steps by just rotating it ro or uh, loading it from the cache, right? Um, and then we go into doing shading if po if we need to. Um, and then it goes and looks for into the shaded cache. And this is where it starts getting interesting. The shaded cache 
um, just takes the original model right and then copies those voxels as fast as it can also gets the volume but and the size but ignores everything else it doesn't need to load the palette or do any of the other stuff from the from the original cache um, then it goes and shades the voxels which is basically a um, a uh, ray casting algorithm which goes and determines which voxels need to be highlighted which voxels need to be sh shaded um, and which ones are actually going to be able to cast shadows and then it does some other cool stuff to, to corners um, okay so that's how so basically there uh, once again it's, it works in the same way the rotated cache works um, if it finds it in that shaded cache it just returns it really quickly otherwise it goes and does the work to shade those voxels right okay so here's the cool part this is the idea I had last night uh, you know like gosh I always get my best ideas like right when I wake up in the morning or maybe right at night when I'm not thinking too hard about things but this is uh, I was like okay why don't I take why don't I take every single model voxel um, that is and give them give them all an index variable so I know what their original index was so that I could compare two different um, caches of voxels and use the right index uh, because the rotated the rotated cache includes voxels which removes as many voxels as it possibly can in fact in a lot of cases it's removing removing over 50 percent sometimes even 75 percent of the voxels are gone just be from occlusion so then it goes and um, um, see this is the, the cool part it combine it's basically combining two different um, caches uh, by using that voxel index so this shaded voxel has all of the original voxels nothing has been included in it um, and that's because it needs to rotate to different angles right because we might be this that uh, it might be combining some shading from one rotate model rotation and a different light rotation so that's this is how it's combining it just basically takes it goes into the shaded voxels and uses the actual voxels index to look into those shaded voxels and that's how it applies that the shading quickly to that and then finally after all that it goes in tints voxels and there's actually a bunch of magic I'm doing here in the tint voxels to make sure shifting hues is as fast as possible that's this is basically just this little bit of code right here is just pre computing hue shifts and colors and all that kind of stuff so that when it actually goes and applies the color it's really really fast so man this has been a quite a code tunnel my head is spinning right now I can I really need a long long break right at this point but thankfully this is working and um, and it's all it's all good um, we've got oh is it already running oh yeah it's running the whole time we've got really nice looking model rotations and light rotations and it's not even using 64 for each even though there might be eight light rotations and eight model rotations it's really nice and as efficient as possible it's even using the same amount of memory right it's only using 400 five about about half a gig right now to load this this whole all oh, I mean there's a ton of different models because a lot of these models have slightly different sh shaded colors so there's a lot a lot of models um, and then also one huge part of this was making sure it loads just as fast as it used to and through all the magic of this coding and optimizing and stuff like that I was able to get it down to this about the same load time so before right like about a day ago this was taking like gosh like five seconds to load the arena that it was actually spinning my cursor on my new fast laptop it was taking forever to load and now we're back down to what it, about what it was before I started even rotating all the all the light rotations and it's about two and a half seconds so that's like twice as fast so big win long code tunnel need a break thanks for watching